So you're down with that. That shit would be fire. Are you got to use the we're rubric. Not, we're not recording here, right? Oh, no. We started recording. Oh. This is CC's <laughs> BEC podcast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, how we doing, brother? <laughs> Yo, Yo, listen. I, I try to trick people a little bit sometimes. <laughs> And I think that, uh, listen, we, uh, we didn't get most of that conversation, I promise. That's funny as hell. I'm sitting back. I know I got to talk into the mic. I'm sitting back. Hey, remember, remember what I said. I'm not going to say it on, on the, yeah, I'm not going to say it on, on, on mic, but. Don't do that. Don't yeah. Like Yo, just help him a little bit. Just adjust that nice for him because he's a lot taller than I made it. You got to, you got to loosen that. You see, yeah, you see that beautiful brace? No, not that one. That one, yeah. Loosen that. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Sean, help him. Like, what's going on right now? <laughs> There's beer and shit towels. falling everywhere. <laughs> like I'm in shambles. Yeah, they're by they're by the they're over there. Totally. This is by going the bed. swell. Yeah, this is going incredible. <laughs> I totally apologize. This is all natural. Don't, don't 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 apologize. Yeah, that's cool. I got it. Oh my god. There you go. Yes. Team oh my work. god. I think I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do next. Ah, now, don't, don't spill don't it again. That's a good choice. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we're doing this podcast right now, I am drafting for one of my leagues. And actually, Richie, you're drafting for one of your leagues too, right? Yes, sir. Stealing my stealing my picks left and right. I was kidding. I didn't mean it. He only stole one. This team is pretty stacked. Maybe on Bell. I wasn't giving it to Jason. Yeah, you don't have to give it to me. It's fine. I don't need it. Hopefully, I get what I want. I don't know though. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get nervous. <laughs> Who'd he just take? Oh, he just took that. Stupid. So, Phil, what's going on, brother? What's up, big dog? How are you? Man? How you been, man? I'm great, man. Everything is going well. Um, working, keeping busy. Yeah, n- dude. I see. I see the stuff online. It looks great. Thank you, brother. I see CC's bacon, egg, and cheese. You doing your thing as well, brother? So let's link up. Dude, I, I honestly, I was telling Sean we gotta go. We gotta do a. Uh, I wanted to do a vlog video of us playing basketball all together and stuff in the facility. Maybe helping me out with my moves. Like I have to, I have to get to the rim a little bit better. Maybe as a jump shot. Honestly, it's pretty nice. Oh yeah. I can shoot the three too, bro. We might have to put a, a wager up or some shit like that. Dude, I'll 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 put, I'll put a, a good amount of money up. Yeah. Babe, I won't put up too much money. I promise. Can I, you, can you, I put money up? You'll win it. For, uh, I hope I do. Can I put money up too for who I like? Yeah, of course. We'll make this a real fucking bet. Right. We'll you go vers- crazy. You versus wifey. You versus wifey in the three point shooting contest. Uh, she doesn't play basketball. No. I play the game of life. Come to make a basketball. I'll get you right. You'll beat him. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, you want to know something? It. I actually, we should do something like that where if you give her like maybe like, how, ma- how many sessions do you think? Come for like two weeks straight every uh, three, three times a week. Mm, no, you're going to need more than that. Four times. Listen, I'm coordinated. Dude, this is a professional right now. He's, he's I, can, honest, I can do it. He's an honest man. You're going to need uh, 10 straight workouts. Hour long. Um, could totally I do that. I don't know if I want to do that though. It might be hell on my end. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bro, <laughs> yeah. he's smart. He thinks <laughs> about before You're he signing up for a tough job. There, right? <laughs> Everyone, go sign up to make a basketball. Appreciate yeah, that, dog. Everyone needs to learn how to play a little bit better ball. I mean, honestly, if I can go out there and school some people, they need to get some work. You know, they Mecca, need it. dot com. Go check it out. Definitely, dude. I like the I merch mean, too. I, mean, I, mean, I I really love the logo. What made you think of that logo again? I know you told me on season one, season but one. we're on season two now, baby. Um, what made us think of the logo? Uh, my partner Kevin Carpenter. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Kevin. Big Kev. Yeah, he called me and was like, "What do you think about like Mecca?" It's just the name in general, Mecca. And I was like, that's fire because I thought of like Madison Square Garden, the Mecca. It just sounded cool. And you want like, welcome to the Mecca. The Mecca is the place to be, things of that nature. Um, yeah, so definitely. We were just thinking of cool logos. Like when you look at uh, sneakers now, like a Kyrie Irving logo or a LeBron or a Kobe, how the, the lettering is curved or the form of whatever the case may be we figured that's like the way to go that's eye catching so we wanted the m and mecca to kind of look similar to like that where it's a logo that'll stand out it'll pop out it'll look good on shoes it looks good on anything dude (laughs) appreciate that brother definitely so uh that's how that came about that's awesome simple it, dude, you want to know what it is? The the simplest also becomes the most complex to the to the to the outside world, and then it just has such like an eye catching thing. I mean, look at this right over here. I love that the CC's BEC podcast. Yeah, yeah, the, that that she drew it. 
I looked at it a couple oh, yeah. times and it made me hungry. Yeah, shout out to a little Miss Juju. Your drawings Thanks. Are, are, are great, honestly. Ooh, like Thank every- you, kind yeah. sir. Yeah, she also did these too. That is amazing. She's a, she's actually one of the, you know she's a very talented artist, and I I always tell her she should be doing some st- some artist stuff. Thanks. Artist things. She got some artist some pants on. I got these are my hippie pants, my nice. genie pants. You gotta like MC Hammer with these on. Nice. Hammer I was time. feeling it today. Hammer time. How's yeah, the yeah. Uh, how's the draft going? Honestly, I'm dying right now. I have Odell Beckham, Stefan Diggs, and Ezekiel Elliott. I think I'm ready to die. Just kill over. They get what? stats. I mean, they're they're okay. I, I'm not I'm not the happiest. What about you, Rich? Uh, right now, I'm looking at Aaron Rodgers, Juju Smith, and Le'Veon Bell. There's a Juju. There is a Juju <gasps> Smith. I wanted to draft him. There's a Juju. That's a low key tip squad, yeah, right there, yeah. yeah, yeah. yo. I'm sorry, Jay, but uh, but that was very influenced. Good looks, you know what I mean? It. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm one thousand <laughs> I'm one thousand percent sure he is getting way more out of this podcast than I am right now. Like <laughs> I put a bunch of money in this fucking podcast on this um on this draft, and I'm uh, you know I'm shitting the bed a little bit, but it's okay. I still have fun. Who's you're gonna be your QB? Honestly, I was looking at the QBs that are left, and I'm not. I'm just gonna draft super late. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I feel you. Because I mean, if if I don't get an Aaron Rodgers, you know what I'm saying? There's really nothing left. Like, <laughs> who, who do you think's the like the best quarterbacks? They're all gone already, probably. Mahomes, Rodgers. Oh, who's there? Yeah, there's not. I mean, I, honestly, there's top top five quarterbacks. I think you should pick up Andrew Luck. Is uh, yeah, that's a great idea. Patrick, Thanks, Patrick. Patrick. Patrick he actually Mahomes. just retired, babe. He's telling me to pick. He's telling me to pick a retired player. But um. Yeah. It, that that is exactly yeah, what that pick, is. Pick Andrew, oh. pick Andrew Luck. <laughs> Probably Cam. Definitely not. Nah, Cam's deep ball is back. Oh boy. And he they runs. Say, they're saying that in the preseason, Cam's deep ball is back. Curtis I don't Sandow. even know what to do right now. Deep ball is back. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with instinct. <laughs> Sounds like a movie. <laughs> Hopefully that pays out for me. Devonte Freeman. Oh, oh, hope he does okay. I'm getting really. You want to know? You know what the problem is? Is I'm doing two high pressure things at once, and I, I feel like I could do it, but I just can't. I just can't. And I, I, I have 16 picks, so now I'm just gonna enjoy this. This is literally me. Yeah. Me. Okay. You're being vulnerable, which is which you, is awesome. It actually feels it actually feels good, but weird all at once because like, I'm. I thought, like, I was laughing about it. I'm like, yeah, on Monday when we did the podcast, we're like, yeah, we're going to do this, and, and, and I'm going to live draft. I'm going to draft live and <laughs> fucking have an interview. And then, you know what? Let's double book and have an interview after that, too, dude. Like, let's just go fucking crazy, man. And right now, I'm like, <laughs> I'm feeling yeah. the heat. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just relax, man. <laughs> I'm sweating a little bit. No, no but I love it. Kusfra. I love Kusfra. No, come on. Give, help me get, <laughs> give me a good meditation right now. Help me <laughs> right now. Don't worry. But a day. Cause every little day. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> that was yep. amazing. You having fun yet? You having fun yet, Phil? <laughs> what a great way to spend the time. So Thursday. dude, dude, five months later, I just I just need like an outside opinion. From from just the like the way everything was five months ago to what you see now. Don't mm. you see like maybe like maybe a tiny bit of a maturity? finally coming out from the podcast the way that it was like it was really i mean i'm not gonna call it rinky dink but it was rinky dink i mean dude this the table says bec That's it, yeah. literally the table mm. fucking says that was BEC. etched by hand mm. she etched it by hand no mm. we etched it by hand that is true but i want to credit take, how long did that take <laughs> you want me you want me to tell you the truth <laughs> Some time right two days it took so <laughs> two whole two days <laughs> she she actually we actually got into a fight because her fucking hand was so sore for the next three weeks. It was so bad. I'm not joking. I'm not even like a bitch about pain, literally. but I literally like I couldn't feel my tips because we were using one of your like. They were like, using. The we blades. were using. We were using a little knife that w- that I bought in Alaska when I traveled to Alaska. That's when what I was it younger. was. It was in Alaska. It was. It was a. Ca- it was a carving knife that I got in Alaska. And you thought wow. this was the time to use it, right, dude? <laughs> yo, I dropped. Yo, you know it was hilarious. I dropped so much money. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna carve the shit out of shit. You wanna go see my samurai sword? <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm like, I'm gonna carve the shit out of the shit. And I, no, dude, I didn't carve shit for ten years. You wouldn't do that again, would you? Would we? Hello. I mean, I would, I would. Oh, well, hold on. Wait a second. I was just thinking the whole plan for the carving was for everyone that comes onto the show to carve to be on the carving. Table. So, would you carve if we gave you a knife right now? 
Well, yeah, would you, you carve your name, can you, Phil? Can you multitask? Absolutely. All right. I'm I mean, get... he's multitasking, so you can multitask. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that, I just can. Just can. <laughs> we gotta get. Uh, <laughs> babe, put him on blast a little more. Go. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends, right? We hugged and everything. Absolutely. You got great juju, by the way. Would oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I love positive energy. Would the carving be annoying as hell? You know what? Listening? We're just gonna do it after the podcast. Yeah, it might like. Knock some stuff yeah, no, no, no. We're we're gonna do it after the podcast. We definitely want to get your tag. You have to have, maybe you can put Mecca. I mean, Ooh. you know, you want to know something? Yeah. I want you to have the freedom to put whatever you want. If you want to write "fuck you, BEC," you can write <laughs> "fuck you, BEC." But everyone wants an egg sandwich. That's just that's so just how I feel. You gotta keep this table like when you make it big, 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 and when you have like celebrities and shit like that sitting around here. You gotta keep this exact. I can't do that. Man, why? I'm gonna I'm gonna Authentic. explain why. I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna cut the table after it's all marked up from the people that helped me start it. I'm gonna put it on a fucking wall. Ice type fire. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. But I'm gonna turn that into a fucking Ooh, sculpture. Here. <laughs> but you're gonna have like, you're yo, gonna you know what's fucking... great? This is this is podcast season two, episode five, and I'm telling you what I'm doing with you're my have table. Fucking Johnny Jacobs and yeah. Richard Scar Mucci. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you want to know something? Keep that's this shit. no, but yeah. that's always gonna be the best part is that people are gonna ask me who the fuck are those people, and that, I'm gonna say, <laughs> you know, what I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna say that's the foundation. That motherfucker works at Foot Locker right now. <laughs> 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 and that guy works at Staples. <laughs> but, I mean, no. It, to me, it's all about the journey to get there. Mm-hmm. And, like, everything about that is, like, paying homage to what you've done and how you've so succeeded. Bad. I mean, you, out of, out of all of us, I mean, at least from the stuff that I've heard that we've talked about on the first podcast, you definitely, like, you went through stuff that made you as good as you are today, right? You can't, you, yeah, you, can't, you can't tell me that it didn't. And that's your foundation. I mean, you probably pride yourself on most of that. At least I know I do with my stuff. Have and to. that's why I think that like <clears throat> it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful table. And maybe I will keep it, but I might get it like reinforced or like maybe retrofitted a little bit. But I mean, I was actually you know it's so funny that you said that. We're definitely drilling holes into this motherfucker in a week. Like I'm not even lying that because we're gonna feed all the wires and make it look really nice. I actually have shout out to Lou Rizzo. He is really like he set up this whole camera. System. I'm gonna show it to you later. I'm we're actually not using it tonight, but uh, he set up this whole camera system, and he's honestly like just a wizard with technology. I've never seen someone. He as used good all as him. scraps too. He, he just used yeah. what was left over. He's like, well, if we put this with this, yeah, and it'll he, work. And I watched him home. work. He went home. He went home, and he was like, "Yo, Sean, you were there. Yeah. We had to talk." He's like, "I yeah, I got that." I'm like, I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I got that in the garage somewhere. I'm like, Jesus. Lou Rizzo. Shout out to Lou Rizzo. Dude, yeah, and, and nice. honestly, he created an amazing at, setup. At Lou Rizzo, one, two, seven, nine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but seriously, yeah, Lou, like, he also even came with me to Guitar Center and helped me get all of this. He even got a deal. Like, this guy what is- What did you get at Guitar Center? Everything we're using right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's yeah. A good spot. Shout out to Guitar Center for hooking me up. With a dope setup to start off the best podcast ever. I know that that was a huge like statement to say, but we're gonna get there eventually. It's gonna take me some time, but yeah, it's gonna t- it's gonna start with you signing this table Absolutely. with Mecca. Absolutely. You're not getting we'll away do. with that. Absolutely do. Put you on the spot, sorry. You farting not over there? Sorry. What's going on? <laughs> you gotta you gotta tilt that mic up. Tilt that mic up, and then you'll be able to talk. If you talk into this part, we'll be able to hear you guys perfect. I'm gonna mute you until you're done. Yeah. Let me see the uh, the thingy thing. Oh yeah. The thingy thing. The thingy thing. Yeah. Of so course. yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely happy to see you branching out and doing your thing. I mean, um, dude, things th- things changed, and change sh- is good. Sean sh- Sean can attest to this that you know everything happens for for a reason, and some some of the things that you know I can truly say is that you know, and, and we've talked about it, and she knows that like. I, I was upset with how things ended and how it all like not not upset where like I wasn't understanding or it like it it changed it changed my situation but like it's it's crazy to believe that like you know I was a part of something that was a lot bigger than just me and that wasn't you know that wasn't enough and when you know the guy in charge who who me and him we have still a great relationship shout out to the my guys they're really a great group of guys i hope they kill it they're gonna do great i just you know i always knew that i wanted to do interviewing and i wanted to do podcasting and i wanted to impact everybody just a tiny bit different 
And I thought that us as a team with Synergy, that we could do that. And um, things just started to split apart at the scene. And that wasn't, it wasn't anything against him and it wasn't anything against me. It was just, you know, he wanted to do things that he knew would get results. And I knew that I wanted to build bl- bricks up, build, little bit, little bit by bit. So after I did that, it was really, um, it was really the story. I mean, I, I got lucky enough that, you know, he was still interested. And then um, we started, you know, Make, making it happen and that that's the other thing like it was also like you know he was interested in doing it and I was interested but someone had we had to make the jump and then I and then I just said one day that you know and I, she, she was catching me all upset about it and I was like I just said one day I have to go do it that's oh it's my turn to draft that's literally literally what it is you got to uh, take that jump um, and make it happen if not you're just going to continue to be complacent and be in the a hamster in the wheel. Yep. Um, you know, they say if you don't make a decision to change, you already made the decision not to. That is true. Yeah. One of my mentors told me that. I was like, damn, that's some deep shit when you think about it. That's true. That's some shit. Right? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm like pondering back and forth. Like, that's some shit. I yeah. Like Snaps to that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's yeah. what made me start uh, with with Mecca Basketball. Oh, yeah, man. Was I, I worked at a company and... Um, there was promise. There was growth there. There was infrastructure. Well, that's what everyone tells you. There was infrastructure there. Um, but I wasn't, I knew my potential. Um, and it wasn't to be underneath somebody doing something that I'm passionate about and in love. For sure. Um, and it wasn't as genuine. And I'm all about, like wifey said, she said juju. Got good juju. Dude, it's all and about she, like, and you want to know something? She knows. I can imagine so. That is definitely something that, like, when when I first met her, you know, to try and understand all of that, you really have to you have to be able to look deep into yourself. You smoke a lot of weed too. Right? <laughs> 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 There's never enough weed. No, um, <laughs> you really, you know, you really have to you you really have to be okay with understanding your mistakes. And being able to critique yourself. Be vulnerable. And, That's and, why I mentioned that earlier, being yeah. vulnerable and letting people know that you can own up to the things you've done wrong and you are a human being. You've been hurt. You you know what I mean? Let Open, up, open up to people and they, they'll respect you a little bit more that this person is well, literally wearing their heart on their sleeves and not caring about being judged. But you're an entrepreneur. And right. that, that's the definition. You're willing to go out there, and if you fail, you'll get back up and try Straight again. Up. And that is the same. Like, that was one of the big Absolutely. things about this show. Be a beast, man. And no, but you're an entrepreneur too, dude. Like, this whole gotta table, th- she's an entrepreneur. Yeah. All this table, this whole entire table, everybody here is about making moves for themselves. If you, to ain't, mo- gonna, if you ain't gonna do it, nobody's gonna do it. And yo, right. no one's gonna help you get to that goal. No mm-hmm. one's gonna help you feel satisfied in the morning. Nobody I- was ever just 100% lucky. They were putting, they put themselves in a good position to get lucky. I agree. Of I agree. Pe- people with extreme wealth, they didn't get there by by a mistake. I mean, I, I, always, I always say this and people get really upset and we're not gonna talk about it at all, but I'm just gonna say it quick. People really bash Trump for being a shitty president, but everyone keeps forgetting what he's known for. He's known for making a fuckload of money. Okay, that's what he is. He he is a money making machine, and just leaving it there. I, I'm not saying anything about his politics. I'm just saying about his money aspect. That's it. What about if you're born into wealth? Is that 100 percent lucky? So so can I be honest with you? There's an, a perfect example. Dan Bilzerian true. Mm-hmm. is someone who's born into wealth. He took that money, and he did magic with it. And not only is he doing magic, he created one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best CBD companies I've ever seen. Ignite is definitely something that is out there. There is nobody out there doing it like Dan Bilzerian's doing it. He's he has created a, a, a full systematic. He saw it. He saw it five years before everybody else, and that's the craziest part. So people like that, people like that, I don't, I don't see them as you know. Oh, they got mommy and daddy's money. That's why they're doing good. Like he's a hustler in, in and of himself. He gambled too. He's like a yeah. really. Crazy poker player. He's won like fifty million but in a he game. Had, he had, and I'm not knocking it because I, I dig his grind. I love seeing what he's doing. Bro, his Instagram is <laughs> but, insane, babe. I, I'm gonna show it to you, but you're gonna hate me. Just because you bought his <laughs> name up, but anybody born into wealth, they already have the privilege of mom or dad knowing 
so and so. That is true. Been, a lot of know. doors were open easier for him because of that. I can't disagree. Yeah. So, yeah. can you be one hundred percent lucky with that, or still no? If being what? born into wealth. Um, no, you could be a fuck up. We we all know fuck. We all know people with money that are fucked up. I mean, I guess I guess you're right in that sense. Like you're just you have an easier path. I guess it's just the God's honest truth. You probably yeah. have like an easier path or whatever the case. But it's you know, it's not about the path. It's about like the person that actually it happens to and how you respond to stuff. So I think that's be- that's definitely the way to to re- really go with it. What about you? What do you think? I think people built into wealth, it's like you were talking about before, vulnerability, right? And then having to surpass people's judgments for doing off and doing your own thing Mm. instead of doing what everyone else is doing. I think the people born into wealth externally may seem like it's easier, but I have a feeling that they go through a lot more shit in terms of self-judgment. Pressure. A lot more pressure internally that I think none of us would really understand because we're not from that, right? So how would we know? So you're talking about the judgment from other people, but mm. then having to surpass your own judgment mm. of yourself, right? So I absolutely get that. So in this yeah. sense, if they're like, shit, I'm not lucky. I have to, this is the shit I got to deal with. I mm-hmm. have to try and live up to this. Like, right. So in an aspect like that, like, yeah, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm lucky to have all this money, but all this pressure that comes with it, I'm not lucky to have right. it like that. So sure. I get what and you're if saying, that person's yeah. authentic too, like let's say that person's actually authentic and now you have everyone already judging, well, yeah, yeah, mommy and daddy gave it to you and now mm. they have to try and prove their authenticity. How that authentic them, is that? But that makes them even better. It does, but they have, you to, get, know they why? have to make that hurdle. They have to jump. Because all of a sudden, they just got hit with something just as worse as someone who doesn't have money. Someone was like, oh, you don't deserve to be in this room with us. <laughs> you can't sit with us. <laughs> but no, the, but, the, but, but and they make sure it's like, 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 like you can't sit with us. Like, you, you know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. F- for me, there's always the contra- there's always the devil's advocate. There's always that opposite where it just makes it to me. You guys making fun of my, you making fun of my draft, right? I'd make fun of my draft too. No, he's you actually try. drafting right now. Yeah, he's like, doing pretty good, right? Well, turn. yeah, let's it's see. Let's see how turn. great his team is. Uh, I'm sorry. Quick pause, real quick. I need to know how good Richie's <laughs> fucking team is right now. Hold let's on, go. He's about to pick. Oh Jesus! No, you mean you're about to pick? I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at that focus face, though. dude. I love that. Locked in. Yo, Richie <laughs> has a photo in his in his house when he's a little kid, and he has the best smile. Richie, do the smile. There it is. You see the little dimples? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. He does it. Is it? Is it? He literally does. Yo, know, he and he's like he's like six years old, and the picture is priceless. All right, you want to hear the team? Right yeah, now? yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it off. All right, we're gonna go Le'Veon Bell, Juju Smith-Schuster, Jarvis Landry at quarterback. We got Aaron Rodgers. Tight end, we got Evan Ingram. Running back, Josh Jacobs. Pretty studs. All yeah. Studs. Who, do you remember the tight end that the guy told us in the the prep to get? Yeah. Uh, who is it? Mm. Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews. Thank you. At least I can get some tight end Ravens. Mark Andrews. <laughs> there you are. Yo, Phil. Phil, I want to ask you something, man, about uh, recent interaction with uh, Kobe. It's, uh, you see him, uh, you know, saying like, "What did What did he say about Shaq again?" Um, <clears throat> he was being interviewed by I forgot who the guy that was interviewing him. Yeah. Um, asked him if Shaq worked. Oh, sorry. Here, take that. If Shaq worked as hard as you, pretty much where do you think you guys would have been? Um, yeah. Or did Shaq work hard? And yeah. did you call him out for not working hard? So sure. Okay. Kobe just went, he had a few stories. Uh, the, the main headline was like, if Shaq worked as hard as me, yeah, we would have had uh, 12 fucking rings. Yeah. Um, but it was all fun and games. They, uh, yeah, true. They're all, they're much older now. They're not beefing or anything like that. But it was just funny. Do um, you think saying, Shaq is like the most unguardable big man in history? Yeah, he was the most, besides Wilt Chamberlain, but Wilt Chamberlain didn't play against the ca- caliber of players that uh, Shaq plays with. Yeah. Um, Wilt Chamberlain was a guy who scored 100 points in the game. Wasn't he also the and tallest like, person on the court? By far. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he was playing against like farmers from Iowa, like tall white guys. From, yeah. Not playing against like <laughs> hand eye coordination was like <laughs> like where's the corn? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love cornhole. Elbow straight. Word, right? <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Yeah. 
hilarious. <laughs> Off the left foot. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so Shaq, yeah, he yeah, was sheer dominance, and uh, and that was pure talent. Um, but Kobe's point was, if he worked super hard, um, they would have won more, and they would have gotten along better. Um, T- top five big man, would you put Kim Olajuwon in there? Yeah, hell Dude yeah. Do Jabbar. Top five big men, I got, I got definitely. No, Kareem. I, Kareem is definitely there. He's yeah. all time NBA scoring leader. Shaq, obviously. Kareem, Shaq, Hakeem. Yeah. Are you doing it in number order too, or no. are you just saying the no, five? No, it's just top five. I'm Shaq. sorry, I just needed to clarify. That was that was it. Thank you. Kareem, Shaq, Hakeem, Bill Russell has eleven. Oh rings. yeah, he's a beast. Got to respect eleven rings. Chamberlain, you think is top five? Yeah. <laughs> He could be an honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fuck with you a little bit. I'm sorry, no, Phil. No, I like that. I like that. Oh, God. There's there's probably somebody ahead of him that uh, I just can't think of a, a name right now. This, Yeah. There's been plenty. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want to. Pat Ewing, lots of more. That's my favorite. Pat guys. Ewing. But yeah. can't say he's better than Wilt, though. Can't. Nah, nah, nah. But, yeah. The Kobe Shaq thing was very interesting. It's just rekindling an old. Beef from like 2001, yeah. 2002. It was interesting hearing an 18 year old Kobe saying he got into a fist fight with Shaq at practice. Really? Yeah. Who won? It got broken uh, up. Dude, I'm kidding. It was, right. that was, he, you, you want to know something? The only thing that Kobe's I have heart, is man. being funny. <laughs> I <laughs> want to have fight in this Kobe. conversation. <laughs> Kobe's fucking he was like vicious. His, his teammates well, at he, that he, point. He, he, he was, beats a lot of women. Yeah, I get he it. He would be yelling <laughs> people in practice, right? He'd be like, <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Your face is amazing. <laughs> See, this is the only chance I, that's the only time I want video for his face when I, I say <laughs> that stupid shit. Listen, I didn't mean to say it, but like, come on, bro. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if it's true. I don't. I don't I mean, know wait. if it's true either. But I'm definitely gonna say shit. They never said he beat. I don't a woman. think I've ever heard that. Yeah, I don't. I've never Who was that. the? There was a basketball player that beat a woman. Yeah, it wasn't him. Yeah, it was wasn't him. It wasn't him. Nah, it wasn't. Him. I completely take it back. Take yeah. it back. Apologize. Co- Kobe, Just take it back. I, I apologize to Co- Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Co- <laughs> Kobe, <laughs> Kobe, I'm real sorry. That didn't come from the Wiz, Kobe. Yeah, Kobe it came. <laughs> it, came <laughs> it came from CC, and I'm an asshole. It came from CC, and I'm an asshole. <laughs> Every, everyone will remember this moment of my stupidity. And honestly, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Pe- honestly, I'm so upset about this draft people that said, I lashed out at you, People Kobe. said Kobe be like yelling at people in practice, like end the practice. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? You fucking think this is a game? Like, just like cursing yeah, at people. Yeah, like, like at, the, at the highest level, um, you, you got to separate yourself or you're just going to be just like everybody else. So um, he was maniacal about his craft and he mentioned... I just didn't agree. I didn't like people at the highest level talking like they worked super hard, but really didn't, like faking the funk. True. Um, so he would let you know about yourself. He would call you out. And if you he all would talk, also, he's like, he telling you, you all talk. Yeah, and he would also dominate you in yeah. practice. And, like, the game is 90% mental, in my opinion. Definitely. And the rest is physical athleticism, but... I think that's where like Larry Bird's game came from too. He would like he would be like he'd be like next the least athletic next. player out there. <laughs> like yelling at the bench. Next. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. least athletic player out there, white guy, couldn't jump over a phone book, but dominated you mentally oh, yeah. and he had, every had shot. all the skill in the world. Yeah. Skillful player. Such good passes too. Everything. Absolutely. Defense, everything. Did it all out all there. All around, yeah. Larry Legend. Hell Wait, yeah, but he, he didn't give the top five. You got the two no, he, in your style. No, we got we got top. We got oh, five. he did. Chamberlain was in there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's I like it's a, Chamberlain. Fives for the toss up, but those four. I think those four are definitely like <laughs> little dragon con- con- over here. Concrete. Little dragon. <laughs> you like the dragon? I love it. Oh man. So yeah. I I got a question for you, Sean. When when you found out today that we got lucky, that Josh was gonna work with us, how'd you feel? What do you mean, like with uh, with me, with, with the, the products. with the products? Yeah, dude. We all, I have to show you some of these things, dude. He gave me shout out to Josh, by the way. He's really gonna help us move to a next level with the YouTube channel, and uh, we have these products now that like it's as seen on TV. So like, but before they come out, so like sharper image just came out this dope thing. I showed you right. You saw it. It was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It was called the socket shelf, and I gotta tell you, I never saw something cooler it had like 50, it had like six plugs 
two USB ports, and like Ugh. I really like I couldn't believe it. I I it was I, very convenient. It it was convenient, and the best part is is that if you go to my YouTube channel, there will be a YouTube video reviewing it. So what is your YouTube channel? It's CC's BEC. Okay. So if Instagram you just, at CCBEC. And then it's Instagram at CCBEC. No, CCBEC. No S. No S to the end. The C, yeah, CCBEC. I know, but it sounded like you said CCBEC. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really, I, I slur my words sometimes. You did. Yeah, you did. Did it? Yeah, you did. Phil. Teamwork. I pre- no, no, it's I don't want to confuse the audience. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. No, that's good. Someone, someone, see? There's other people that correct me too. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got it when I'm not around. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Phil, we got uh you know, I haven't talked to you about uh, the Knicks yet, man, with like RJ Barrett. You think that was a great pick? You were, I mean, a lot of Knicks fans were upset about Zion not being there because they got unlucky in the, you know, lottery or whatever, but what do you I think like, about? Yeah. I like the guy named DeAndre Hunter who went to the Atlanta Hawks. Oh yeah, I did. Forgot what number he went. He yeah. reminds me of like a Kawhi Leonard type of player, but yeah. RJ Barrett is very talented. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> and the Knicks have a good supporting cast around them of uh, vets who are hungry, still like young young vets who are tough, and it kind of reminds me of like the '90s Knicks. There's no Patrick Ewing on the roster, um, or Allen Houston on the roster, but they right. got a bunch of like tough, gritty Starks guys. Kind of guys. Is it worth going to the games this, this season? The thing is. People go to the can I garden. Take, can I take her to a game? Have you ever been to a game? It's a good, t- a good basketball time. Basketball game? Oh, basketball time. game. No. People go to the Mecca. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> No what, pun. Yeah, yeah, no pun. People totally pun to intended. The, At Mecca basketball. The, At Mecca basketball. <laughs> <laughs> the Mecca of all sports arena is the Madison Square Garden. It is. So it's no, like you're right. the best players in the world you said might, that. You yeah. might not go to see the Knicks, but you're going to go to see... LeBron torched the Knicks, or <laughs> Kyrie Irving tor- torched the Knicks. Kobe dropped 50. Or yeah, to just like take your girl to go watch the Knicks game. You know what I mean? It's a thing mm-hmm. to do. It's like yep. they'll suck, but they m- sell out every game. They make the most money out of every franchise every year. Um, and that's just because that's, it's, that's, that's just because it's the Mecca. That's because it's the Mecca, baby. <laughs> I mean, it's right in Madison Square Garden, so it's, it's the Mecca. Yeah, it's like prime location. Sorry, I have to be a. Bo- I'm sorry, I had to ball bust. Who does that? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not giving you one fucking break tonight. No I fucking way. Who opens really the bottle? Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Right next to the mic, she did it too. She's like, yeah. It was She's not like, that obnoxious. Can I, can I'm I get it now? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry, kind of sirs. I didn't mean to disrupt. Oh man! <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. It was vicious. <laughs> Truly vicious. Uh, Baby, I'm sorry. You gotta listen to the so, boss, CC. You gotta listen to the boss. I know you're right. right. You're right. I, I, but on on air, don't right, get fired right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, on on air. air, right meow. On air, right meow. Right meow. <laughs> I <laughs> am am the jefe. You know, jefe. Papa, See, you he know? didn't say boss. He said he spoke another language. <laughs> Bro, you know I'm smart. Come on, man. You know I'm smart. I got to deal with that later. And what am I going to say? Facts. You know, I'm gonna be, yeah. Babe, I didn't even call myself a boss. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> like, I was just joking with the guys. You know? Dude, it's just all the guys came over. I just wanted to look cool. I'm sorry. You know, like, like please, please, please. You know, it's just please. a fright. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> a fright thing. Just get... Dude, it, it is pride. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, come on. It's just... All right, Hefe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got it. Oh, jeez. It's going to be Yeah, Phil, you going to uh, Made in America tomorrow? You want to give a little... Uh, yeah. yeah, dude, I heard you're leaving what, tonight, right? What, Flying? What you got going on with that? Um, Right after I shoot out of CC's BEC. Woo, love the plug. You nice. know what I mean? I'm going to go get a nice little fade. Nice. A little fade. Touch my, my shit up. Clean, look clean. You know what I mean? About to get crazy this weekend. There's a music festival in Philadelphia called Made in America um, where they have a whole bunch of acts, a whole bunch of stages, nice. a whole bunch of people, uh, a whole bunch of fun. So much fun. Juju. Good vibes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yeah. This is going to be my third time going. So I'm a three-time champ. So I'm a vet now. Oh, wow. I'm a vet. I'm an absolute vet. You're like, we going to this one now and then this yeah. one day. Hell so, yeah. like... Got an Airbnb with the homies, <laughs> the yeah. dogs. We haven't traveled in a minute together. That's fire. It's always so, nice doing a boys trip, man. It's gonna be amazing. Um, all the all the guys going to that. Uh yeah, nice. Yeah, for the most part, all the guys That's are going fire. to that. It's gonna be a blast. A lot of cool performers. Travis Scott, 
uh, some dude named the baby, but Travis got whoa, him. Ex- whoa, hold on, oh, hold yeah. on. First off, it's not some dude. Yeah, named we know. Fuck with the baby. Yeah, First off, <laughs> oh. she, yo, she hates listening to it in the car, but she starts to sing it to it now. That you know, she it. loves too. A- That's yeah, true. A- ask, ask her, ask her who, who. Yo, I play, I play YG all the time. What's the song we always in the in the dark, in the dark, in the dark. It's a YG song. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to YG. Oh, I swear man. to God. Dude, it's. Y'all fuck with the baby, though? Yo, oh, I love the baby. I baby found the yo, baby, the baby. F- for my group of friends, I found the baby. Cal loves oh, the baby, though. Richie, oh. don't even put on that smirk Cal, like you Cal understand, bro. You fuck with the baby? I didn't find. Yeah, yeah. Everyone yo, fucks with the baby. He bro. got some shit. Dude, yo. you know what I also like that he does, which is completely something that he stole from some pre patty, but it's fine. Yeah, he. Okay. He puts dope ass shoes signed. Obviously, not like oh, leaves them out, and he just leaves them out by a hotel or something. He does it cool. No, you see, let me finish. He stole the idea, but he topped it four thousand times better. Like he's signing them, he's leaving dope clothes and fucking sick sneakers that he wore at a concert. Oh, that's pretty chill. So like every that dude con- always got a smile on his face, man. bro. He you want to know why? Because so <laughs> his mouth is the most expensive part of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ever see his, his teeth, yeah, his bro? Grill. His grill. Oh my god. I just got put on. Face? I just got yeah. put on to him in like May. June, July, what do you think? Uh, oh, all right. Uh, yeah, I just got put on to him in like May, and I went on like a binge download of his like of his tapes of his of his albums. Yeah, and zoom in like, on his mouth, babe. And like I, I was driving back from Washington D.C., and I was just it was just track after track. It was just a fire, 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 yeah. fire beats. He's talking some shit in the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like shit that the women like. Shit that the guys want to say, you know what I'm saying? Like his videos are funny as hell. He got some some dude named Stunnerful Vegas. Dude, he's who, good too. Who, who, I like who, him too, who got man. Some shit as well. No, so. he's got he spits nice. Yeah, so I'm excited. Like, dude, uh, and they're smart. They grind the right way. He's making hard. music. At least when he fir- when I when I caught on to him, there was a a lyric that was on World Star like maybe six months ago. Six months ago. What was the lyric? It was that song that everyone made fun of him for doing at 106 in Park as a freestyle. He he did a freestyle, but it was an actual. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hello. Hey, she, you here? C- Cece's on a call right now, taking a call. You here? Okay, I'm gonna let you in right now. We got we got someone coming in. Do you, you don't mind? No. All right. We got uh. Actually, how he, we uh, how we doing in the draft Liv, though, man? Liv is here. <laughs> the baby, he uh, he got a song out with Stunnerful Vegas called Ashley. Ashley. Yes, dude, Ashley. That song is fire, dude. He came on, he came on the beat like, uh, I got my young nigga rich in six months. Play with me, get your shit bust. I'm on the tour bus, get my dick sucked by a bitch with a big butt. That's fire. I like my. I'm like, yo, like the beat just dropped, bro. He yeah. just went <laughs> off. I'm yo, like, yo, you know what I yo, love? Yo, yo it's the top of that dude, yeah. dude, it's old school rap. He's talking some shit. Old school though. Dude, going in, like I like the it. Beat drops and that's that's boom, why I like boom, that boom, shit was boom. good, man. With like Fifty Cent when I was in college and yeah. like Eminem when I was in college, that was like G Unit days. And then like they fucking G-Unit. Young Buck, like Young Buck. But do you guys, you guys really listen to M? Eminem, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Why you don't like him? Not that I don't like him. He has some shit, but like, are you talking about recently? Are you like bumping the M album? No. Nah, nah. All right, all I'm, right, I'm about all right. them. Like when he like did his yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But he has some old his new heart. stuff that he's coming out with. Uh, no, nah, it's not. It's I'm, not a, I'm not really staying up to date with it. I know he did something with Logic pretty recently. But. Dude, honestly, the song with Logic that he did. Who's your friend? Oh, this is this is Olivia Liv. Hey. She is hey, one Liv, of the, she is up? one of the BEC co-hosts. Shout out to Liv. Shout, Shout out. out to Liv. The Savage. The yeah, you're you're on the next there one. There you go. There Liv you go. the Savage. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Quote on quote. I didn't want to sound like who's who's some of your other favorite uh, guys that are that are gonna be there. Oh yeah, dude! I can't believe you're like some guy named to baby. I know. <laughs> like, you you want to know something? I'm kind of insulted. Like I don't know the baby, bro. You know what? Let, let's hear some of the other. Let's hear some of the other guys that are gonna be. What is this thing called? Made in, America. made in America, dude. Let's see who else was made in America. Tell me, Dave East is going to be there. They got Jake Rich. Okay, I like him. Um, I know who that is. Roddy Rich. <laughs> I'm, I've heard of Roddy Rich I just too. Been balling out every season. Yeah. Uh, 
Shit, I don't really listen to Cardi B like that, but she got some shit. Dude, she's Cardi doing. B, yo, if and she's, she's there, offset, Offset's there. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fire. Offset's dope. And then if Offset's there, Quavo's there. And then if Quavo's there, Takeoff's there. And then Take if they're all there, <laughs> then that's Migos. <laughs> Ooh, that's fire. Dude, and then a Migos surprise is song, that is definitely what's going to happen in your future. But Cardi, Let's give him positive Cardi, juju for that, right? Cardi B brings him out. You got positive it. juju. All the juju. Good juju. All the juju. See that? Whoa. Good juju. Oh, that's like yeah, my we're thing. That's that. how I <laughs> say it. Yeah, that's a trademark. We tra- she trademarked trademark and juju. incorporated. Trademark incorporated. Jay can't say it correctly. So juju. You should try. Wait, wait. I can do it now. Juju. <laughs> no, no, no. The good is up. The juju is, you know. Oh. Yeah. Good yeah. juju. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna Your do turn. It. No, I'd love to good hear ju-ju. it. <laughs> Yo, Liz, you trying to be you trying to be down? You trying to You wanna get on? Sure. You wanna hop on real quick? Hop do you mind? The, hop on the mic. Could she sit there for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course the That's savage ones. Uh, where's, yeah, let's get living here. Where's gonna take He's a over there break? looking like da, shit. Da, I wish I could join. Da, da, here's the shark. <laughs> da, da. Pop it in. Here we go. Baby oh. shark. Doo, 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 doo. Hello, hello. What's up, savage? Thanks. We got to mic her up. Yeah. I mean, uh, headphone her up. What is this? Oh. Headphones, yeah. He's going he's gonna to give her he's headphones a for a little bit. Yo, you have the best team. Honestly, honestly, you're gonna get like a A plus, and I'm gonna get an F. Right now, we got like a double date going on. We do. <laughs> Who's on the date? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question. No, fix the mic for her, dude. She's talking into the top of it. Help her out. I, I need, I need perfection. I am. <laughs> well, I also have a small head, so I gotta. No, Sean's got you. There yeah. you go. Ah, yeah. there's her voice. How you doing? Am I here? Hello. You're here. You made it. <laughs> I need a drink. Okay, there's beer and then there's mixtures in the fridge, and we're 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 gonna wrap this one up in a little bit. Oh, oh my God! Just give me one second. My draft time. Who's got who? Who's the bit? Who's the first pick? They, them two are drafting. Yeah, we're oh, drafting together. Who and got every, to do the first pick? <laughs> everyone has a better uh, team I than me. Did you? Yeah, he's mad at me about that. No, I'm not really mad. I'm just kind of sad. <laughs> There's no one, there's like no one. You know, Deshaun Jackson is all the way down here and he's injured. I'm just going to take him. I don't know what to do. I just need to go with what I know. I'm at this point. Dude, you want to hear how shitty my team is? Shout out to the worst team in America. Here we go. <laughs> Lamar Jackson, Odell Beckham Jr., Stefan oh. Diggs, Alshon Jeffrey, Ezekiel Elliott, Devontae Freeman, Mark Andrews on the bench, Sony Mitchell, and Deshaun Jackson. Sony Michelle. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sony <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> I feel like. Oh shit, that was strong. That I was feel loud. like um, it's usually the guys. For the most part, if your team is trash, it's trash. But it's the guys that you think might have the trash roster that come out of nowhere and just are balling and end up going to damn near like the finals <laughs> shooting his cap in the playoffs. <laughs> so don't don't give up hope. I won't. I won't. You gotta be on the, there's injuries. You got to be on the waivers. Waivers wins the chips. That is true. You you find a fight, huh? Yeah, I, I know how to do this shit. I just got injured. Injuries, you can't. You know what I mean? No, but you, you, but you also do. You do. You do. Uh, you do basketball fantasy, right? Correct. I don't do football anymore. I can't even lie. To you. I did one year of basketball. Of basketball fantasy, I wanted to shoot myself. It's every day. How the fuck do you do that? You dude? feel like a real GM. <laughs> I don't feel real about <laughs> anything, dude. Yeah, the only thing I ever did that was successful was I drafted Rudy Gobert. Yeah. His rookie season when he was a fucking he was monster. blocking everything. No, listen. When you have like a competitive friend group and... Um, I used to. You you put money on it and you guys like have a group chat and you guys talk shit. And each week, if you lose, you got to pay up. Um, it gets competitive and it gets fun. So it's like you really feel like this is my team and I put this team together and like fuck your team. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's an it's a everyday battle. And... Uh, it's worth it. You won, right? No. No, you... I lost. I beat you the first round. Good for you, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> Good. For yeah, just <laughs> you just, just put okay. salt on that okay. wound. <laughs> so, how was your day, Liv? Good. You got here late. Yeah. Had to but, work. But you're here. How was work? Miserable. Did you take the train home? Yeah. Stressful. Anything, anything weird on the train happened today? 
No, actually. No clods? Good. I was going to say, no, no cloud city. No material. cloud stuff? No. She actually, you know what was really I funny? actually got a good one. There she, was a guy wearing a tree on his head with a suit. A, wait, I'm sorry. A tree? Yes. Like a tree of life or like an actual tree? Like a, a tree set on his head. I sent it to him. No, so and then sent someone it to else found it on the subway. And someone else found it and then subway creatures posted it. Literally. I was like, what 45 the fuck is it? I was like, where's my phone? Yeah, you know, forty minutes later, subway creatures. They had stole it. my. They stole they literally stole the stuff. video, and <laughs> they put I it up. Posted. That was ours. So I, I know you don't know this yet, but I started a new Instagram page. It's all about New York, like New York City, and like just what would you call it? Just uh, New York City shit show. They call it poverty porn. It's called poverty porn. I don't know what. It, I, I don't know why. It's a very vulgar name. That's new. Haven't heard that. Yeah, I haven't heard that one. Wait, hold on. He's breaking shit over there. I don't know. He needs, <laughs> he needs a minute. <laughs> no, but um, it, it it's really like, it gets difficult because there's people that really love the stuff that we post and there's people that really hate it and they send us a lot of shit that they don't like. And it, like they say mean shit and it doesn't matter. The point that I'm trying to make is like, it's about a certain demographic. You're just going after I a mean, certain people. I mean, if you're in the city, you're going to see it no matter what. Exactly. And they're viewing it. So... You're still getting the view. But if I don't do it, someone else is exactly. going to fucking do it. I mean, look at all the other big ones. Like, do you think they post appropriate things? Who cares? No, they don't. I mean, I saw the first week of my job, I saw a homeless person whacking off on the subway. Did I want to see that? No, no. But like. Oh, my God. I got a worse video. Some guy actually sent us the worst video ever. I would show it to you guys, but then I would feel embarrassed. What is it? It's two guys doing. Analing? No, no. They were like one was. <laughs> I, I love how they, you know what you know what's amazing. She goes right. She goes right to the business. Right to the bu- <laughs> She right goes right there. to the fucking business. No, um, I'm, I'm putting you back in. <laughs> she goes right to the business. No, it's it was this guy sitting on a bench and then some other guy taking care of him, just like straight up. Well, I don't you know. More than yeah, you know exactly what like I mean. Mouth action. Mouth action. Mouth action. And it was disgu- And they wanted me to post it. That's a little much. And I said to them, "I'm like, no, we're not posting that shit." No. Uh, I need one second. It's draft time. No. <laughs> Sean, I need a kicker. That was a joke, right? Yeah, yeah just kidding. But um. Uh, so poverty porn, I feel like it's it's some shit that. For like a better terms, poor people watch. Like it's like you don't want to watch. You feel ashamed after like beating off, and it's like you just stand there like with your dick in your hand. It's like fuck. Oh, that's what you think so, poverty porn is. Fuck. Is that what poverty porn is? No, like, poverty porn's like poverty porn's like getting off on people that are homeless, or like that's like a thing? like like yeah, like like a true. foot fetish thing. It's yeah, like a yeah. yeah. Thing. It's called Ooh. poverty. It's poor people porn. So your viewers Wait. are poverty porn people playing with themselves watching. I don't know if that <laughs> <order goes. laughs> What? I wouldn't call that, that fun. Is, I didn't know that was a thing, to be honest. I, I got scared. I uh, did not know either. So now you have a porn page. That is no. Congratulations. Te- yes. <laughs> are you, how do you feel about that? It's technically not a porn are page. Are you excited? Maybe. <laughs> it's not a porn page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not defending myself to you. <laughs> I don't fucking care. <laughs> Yeah, CC Hub. <laughs> CC Hub. That's gonna be disgusting. <laughs> I don't even want. It's basically you're just saying yes, yes to Hub. Like what? Oh boy, man. All right, no, I'm good for sixteen. I'm good for sixteen picks. I, I just, I'm all, I'm all bent out of shape. I have, I had a terrible draft. This kid's doing way better than me, sitting next to me, smiling. He's literally sitting here. He's I don't glowing. Even, I don't even have to. I don't even have to look at him, and I know he's smiling. Like he's got the little dimples, he's all happy. He's glowing. Yeah, it's in I'm, there. Happy f- <laughs> I'm happy for him. He's always Dude, quiet. He, like honestly, it. no, no. You know what Did it is? Little school, where, like <laughs> Listen, I just came up. He shout out to came. shout he out just, to he just hit a lick. Listen, shout shout out to Richie for stealing this draft. He 100 percent stole this. I, this yo, it was crazy. I just I pulled up to your crib. He was walking with the two dogs. Yeah. And I just met him. I see this guy with two, one big ass dog and one little ass. Dog. <laughs> I yeah. loved you know that. <laughs> he brings him to the crib and he comes back with his laptop. Like, yo, what's up, bro? And it's like, I got the draft. He was all excited about it. And now he's doing well. I'm happy for him. Yeah. Well, he's killing it. I'm jealous. Like see, he was focused, he's not, not multitasking uh, either. 
Yeah, no, I get it. I get got it. a fresh cut, you know what I'm saying? The dimples is popping. Yeah, look at you, kid. <laughs> you better go out tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you going out tonight, right? Am I taking you out tonight? Oof, <laughs> see what I'm saying? No, babe, I'm kidding, baby. I'm not. No, it's okay. If you're into that, that's all right. I don't no, judge. No, no. Who would hide a judge? Don't, don't do that. No, one, no. Don't freedom. do that. No, this is not the kind of freedom I want. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, thank you. I release you. <laughs> you know what? You want to stay home tonight now, huh? I'm staying the fuck home. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Sorry, Rich. <laughs> oh, man. So, um, before we wrap this up, what are... The, uh-oh. What are you still laughing about how stupid I sound? <laughs> Funky. <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> you guys got some shit that... Oh, yeah, oh. man. Oh, dude. That, that dude, good, good. You, listen, listen. All that matters is that you're smiling and you're here on I'm CC's VEC. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy as fuck. Uh, what does he got for you? <sighs> okay, so. Sh- the oh, you Wiz, got a topic? The Wiz has a topic list. Perfect. Thank you. And number six. Oh, we got to number six. Wow. Uh, is um some top high school. We got to number six? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't yes. even I didn't even know we we were just talking. I didn't know we, we covered shit that we wanted to talk about. But See, listen, that's shout out stuff. to the Wiz that's crazy. for setting up the perfect <laughs> that pre-interview. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're like I just got my fuck like this yeah, whole time. Yeah. And if you look I'm back, like we're talking if, about bullshit this whole time. But like we touched on around, like, dude. And if you turn around and you turn around, you're literally about to fall into the city. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to turn around. Yeah, don't turn around, bro. Don't you're do it. Don't, yeah, you're flying, brother. <laughs> you're flying. I love like, it. Yeah. All right. No, because like it's like seriously. He's literally falling. No, no. Oh, no, you look back. Yo. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. What was the topic? Give it to me. Topic number six. Sick. Some top high school slash college slash pro ballers you're working with. So I own a basketball training company called Mecca Basketball. Shout out to Mecca. It's gonna learn. It's gonna learn. I'm gonna teach them. They're gonna teach me how to dribble with my left hand. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. <laughs> Get it back. I got a basketball in my car. We could go outside. Yeah, I'll do it. There's mosquitoes and shit, but I'm good. That's a fact. Yeah. You definitely came Don't through and got right, some work in. Yeah. You struggled, but it's okay. It's okay. What well, you you went to the gym? It's all about. No, yeah, yeah, it's all about the the mental hump that he got over. What was the mental hump? It was like, I haven't done this shit in a minute, mm-hmm. but like, fuck it, let's get to work. Dude, he did great in Germany. Did you see the videos that he put up when he was posting up people in Germany? Yeah, that was, that was fake, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was in Germany. They were like, what the fuck? But some top high school, college, pro bowlers you're working with. Um, all right, so off the top of my head, if I could just think, uh, there's a kid named uh, Savion Lewis who was New York high school player of the year two years ago. He's now at Quinnipiac. He's going to be a redshirt freshman. Um, a kid named Lester Keonis, who plays at Memphis, um, is a freshman there. Uh, Pro so Bowl. Right? Couldn't even tell you, brother. Oh, oh, Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, top high school college ball players. Uh, yeah, so I've... The thing is with uh, basketball training, there's no loyalty, but I don't mean that in a bad way. It's like yeah. you want you want the kids to get the best knowledge from anybody who can give it to them. So kids are working with everybody. Um, so I've worked with numerous, numerous uh, top high school, college guys who play professionally who get paid to do this, um, and it's like a it's a community that I enjoy being a part of because I just want to give back to Long Island basketball as a whole because we have talent out here now. It's about giving these kids the exposure <clears throat> and helping them get that respect um, that we truly deserve because you only hear about New York City kids, city kids, city kids. They're hungry, they're hungry. But we got some hungry kids out here. We got some talented kids out here as well. And um, when you're in a competitive field, whatever you do, you want that respect from like your peers, from your boss, right. that I belong here. So um, I want to give those kids every opportunity possible nice. to do so. No, but that's that's one of the things that drew us t- together almost because one of the things that you talked about to him and he told me when, 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 we were, when I first started doing this thing was that you're trying to give back to the community, and that's the most important thing. That's one of the things that I look at when like you're an entrepreneur trying to do something. You want to help. The people around you. You want to serve. Because, listen, it it doesn't matter 
how you serve. Doesn't matter how you serve. It's it's giving it's giving people g- good knowledge to something that helps them not only like be athletic, but it's 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 mental focus. It helps them you know Absolutely. be more active, make friends. It Absolutely. it gives them a that. whole entire community pull that Absolutely. then changes the whole dynamic for everybody. Because then that kid who was embarrassed or scared to touch a basketball, you know, he goes to your training camp for a month or whatever. All of a sudden, he's playing like Steve Nash. Well, that was beautifully said. Not necessarily playing like <coughs> Steve Nash. Now listen, but the last part I was just being, you know, I was yeah, being I get Jason. It, but, but now yeah. he's now he's at lunch and he's confident to play with his buddies. With his now buddies, yeah. At, at lunch and shoot it. You know what I mean? How's, how, how's your how's your little one doing, dude? My man is doing amazing. I was I was looking at some videos the other day of him running around on, when you were on a podcast. I don't remember. I don't remember what you were doing. It was a video podcast. It was with your boys. I don't remember what. I, w- I went to the Jets game. <clears throat> they played the Saints, mm-hmm. and I took my son. He, how did How did you like 19 it? Nineteen months, yo. The kid loved it, bro. I got to show you like a video. Like he was just. We were on the sideline. Mm-hmm. It was like something like the coaches' lounge is what it's called. A bunch of free food. It was amazing. Yeah, we didn't sit, bro. We was like on the sideline, literally, like behind. That's amazing. Like Le'Veon Bell, Sam Darno, the QB, and it was like right there. Um, but my son was just like running. I don't ever want to hear Le'Veon forth, Bell's back name again. and forth. Oh, he took him right. <laughs> um, and I was just eating all the food, so it was fun. Um, but my son is doing amazing. He's 19 months, Maverick. Um, Great name. Thanks, bro. Because you're a Mavericks fan, right? I'm a big time Dallas Mavericks fan. Yeah, I knew that. Simple, man. I'm simple as fuck. Like, so what's your take on Porzingis? I like him. I definitely like he's he's tall. He's the tall, lanky guy that was on the Knicks, right? I don't know. They're all tall and lanky. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you have to be over six foot to play. Yeah, I was gonna say anyone like not six foot. Actually, Nate Robinson was the only one that wasn't six foot. <laughs> There's a lot of players that are not six foot in the NBA. <laughs> You're up. Come on, oh. come on. Cece, you're up. Up, 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 up. <laughs> you are, oh, Rich, what do you think I can do? Not nice, Jaden. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Finish going for that, Mom. Oh, that's close. Well, Cece, who'd you pick? I picked. Uh, all right, I'll tell you my team now. You pick uh, fast. Me? You want to know what it is? Like, are you even thinking? No. No. It's 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 just gut feeling and knowing that I'm gonna be the best. That's it. Just that mental That's a hard loss. Even though you literally just ripped on your team. <laughs> Shout out he's to the like, worst I team ever. This so much <laughs> and he's not even putting a thought bullshit. into it. Okay. First Calling of all bullshit. <laughs> oh hi. What was that sound? What was uh-huh. that sound uh-huh. I was supposed to make? Uh-huh. Bushy. <laughs> what? There was a sound we were supposed to make every time you told a lie on the last podcast. What that was is it? true. I don't remember. I don't remember. Did, Man. How, how when you when you looked at the audio, how did it look? It, it was uh, when you looked at the oh, yeah. audio. He, no, but he, he, he no, he actually <laughs> looked at it for the that. levels. No, he looked at the he looked at the audio <laughs> for the <laughs> levels. Let that sink in. Simmer with that. Listen, you want to know something? Listen, I get it. You're on top of the world over there. Just <laughs> give me do, give me five seconds to work right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for specifying. Looked at the levels. No, the levels, because because I always get worried because me, I'm making out with my mic. That's one of the things. Oh yes, he was telling me that he's like, like yo, you gotta make out with he's that. He's like, mic. get closer, and I'm like, okay, I'm like, <laughs> gonna chip my tooth. Like, <laughs> don't, I don't want to chip tooth. I don't do that. I already did that, and I'm not trying to do it again. I I would. You know what? Sit I on the mic. I <laughs> would 100 percent sing. In front of twenty thousand people, Good I believe luck. you. I would, I would do it. I would do it. Let's I do would it. pass what? out. I would. No. What song would you sing? Yeah, what song would Me you? Me or him? No, I want to know. Cece would sing. No, everybody, everyone, everyone. What <laughs> song would you sing? Dash rap. In front of I already 20, have mine. <laughs> All right, what's yours? Dreams oh, yeah. and nightmares by Meek Mill because I know every Ooh. word. Okay, but I'm I like not doing that. it now. Damn, get it. No, 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 no. You don't have to do it now. No, that I could do, do in front of like a million people if I was like okay. wasted on like okay. five drinks. Sing it, girl. Since you uh said to Meek, I would uh say I'm a boss. I'm a boss. There you go. I'm a yeah. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little high pitch. Wait, wait. But I'm a I, boss. <laughs> got really into that I one. I love it. Oh man. That was auto tuned, right? Yeah, I auto tuned mine, not his. Y- you'll hear it. It's so good. Dude, I'm having so much fun with the new setup. It's really nice. And it's nice to have all these great people here. 
I want to say thank you to everybody for being here tonight. You know, this is a lot of fun. And Phil, honestly, you coming out for season two? I hope you come out for season three, man. In four, five, six. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. But but season three will definitely be here because I'm not that crazy. But it's season four, five, and seven. Four, five, and seven. Don't know where I'm going. Weird numbers. We'll be billionaires. Well, yeah, we'll we'll be far. <laughs> we'll be really. We'll, we'll be we're, like we're, we're, so so. Let, let's LA. pick the building. Yeah, you want to go to L.A. Down. All That's right. where the business. We'll be in L.A. on top of the highest building. Okay. In the hills. See, in listen, hills? listen. She, she's got dreams. Love it. Go. Phil, you're going to come visit us in L.A. in the hills? Yeah, we'll be doing podcast there. on a I PJ. Do you know what a there. PJ is? What's a PJ? Private, Private jet. jet. Yes. In Wait. our PJs. Love it. All about the PJs. I love pajamas. Yes. Love me good pajamas. I said. You really do <laughs> love, love pajamas. pajamas. I know. I'm no, 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 no. They're pajamas. Get it right. I'm no, sorry. I said when we do a podcast on the holidays, we're having a onesie party and we're all wearing a onesie. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. Get, ready. Get ready. Get ready. So what So what? What kind of? What kind of onesie are we getting, Phil? A unicorn. I see it already. Jeez, I actually like that. Right? Oh, Magical rainbow. Dude, you know what's He's crazy? Full of magic. Yeah. I actually have I have I, I have a shout out to Meat Undies. I have a Meat Undies subscription and I have the adventure pack and they actually <laughs> sent me Well yeah, because each month they send me a new pair of undies. I still haven't gotten one though. Oh, right, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He gets monthly. Me undi- he gets that, yeah. and they come in this really cute little like wrapping. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. It's no so joke. cute. Yo, no joke. Look at oh. these Sh- fucking strawberries, baby. <laughs> Sorry. No, but back back the to the point. Adventure pack. I think that's the fun. Yeah. Bro, yo, I'm gonna tell you right now. You gotta be adventurous with your underwear. If you're not, you there's do. something fucking wrong. They're so fun. You gotta have at least a couple fun pairs. If Gee, wish I had some. I got great textbook <laughs> underwear. Calvin Klein, they're firm. Boom. Briefs. Nice briefs. I'm not, all the way to go. Listen, I'm not I'm <laughs> not about being plain. There's nothing nothing about me is plain. My bacon, egg, and cheeses have hot sauce on them. There is nothing about me that is plain. So So when you pull your those down, you get a little giggle each time. Oh, uh, right? every time. <laughs> and I go like this. <laughs> oh, nice. He's got everything. There's unicorn. Dude, there's yeah, so arcade, that's what I was gonna say. I have a pair cupcakes. of unicorn underwear. The funniest thing. That's hilarious. I Gingerbread s- men. Dude, I swear to God, I was at a <laughs> restaurant. You've seen them all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have I have more than a year's worth of underwear by now. That's fire. The, That's amazing. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. Is he? All right. Okay. You let me sh- shout out my. Uh... Yeah. No. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna just you. If you want, can you let him in? But let him just let him just get. He's gonna plug. He's gonna plug his stuff. All right. Uh, let me shout out my partner, Kevin Carpenter. Yeah, shout out Kevin, dude. Yo, you're bringing him season three. Season three for sure. CC's BEC. I need three bacon, egg, and cheeses for that. No, you get four because your boy's coming too. Facts. Just saying. Okay. Um, <laughs> writing it down. Writing it down. No, Legal no, 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 document. No, no, no. Um, our social media is uh, Mecca Basketball. M is in Mary. Mecca. M-E-C-C-A Basketball. Um, and the website is www.meccabasketball.com. I just said that because Sean told me to do that. Um, <laughs> I'm being directed. I just, I just, I just plugged myself. Okay, how do you sign up? You go online, <clears throat> and then you uh, there's a button that says "Enroll Today" right there. Um, you click on it, and you follow the directions, and you'll be signed up. Or you could always email us at uh, info at megabasketball dot com. Um, I'll respond. No, I, dude, dude, you, you, you. Anytime I've ever reached out to you, you immediately respond. I've Wait. never had a question. I never had trouble tracking you down. No doubt. Listen, honestly, thank you so much for being here for CC's BEC podcast season two, and you're definitely coming back for season three with your partner. I, I don't care what I have to do. If I have to bring the studio to him, I will fucking do it. I need the bacon egg and cheese. That's all. No, dude, you're gonna get them. I promise. Four of them. Four. Well, three for you. One for your partner. I got the mail. And then I'm going to get one for everyone else here. All right, fine. Got you. I'll get like 15 bacon, egg, and cheese. We're all eating them, though. Wow. I can eat 15 of them. We should have an eating contest. No. Okay, I'd win. <laughs> Who can eat the most? Okay, I'd win. <laughs> I would lose. <laughs> I would eat one. And that's it. <clears throat> I mean, right. I would. I, I, I would. got to go get a fresh uh, fade all right. made in America tomorrow. I told my barber 930. All right, no, yeah, I'm going to let you go. Like 940. All right, listen, have a great night. My dude. Bye.